Hi, welcome to the Sheraton Princess Kaiulani. In 1955, the Princess Kaiulani Hotel was constructed on the site of the royal estate of Princess Victoria Kaiulani. The 11-story hotel was the tallest building in Hawaii at the time. A few years later, the hotel was sold to Sheraton and was renamed Sheraton Princess Kaiulani in the 1970s. Many decades later, the property underwent several renovations and now has around 1,100 rooms across 29 floors. On the right of this walkway is the front desk and lobby area. Near the Christmas tree are some photos of historical figures including Princess Kaiulani. On the other side of the lobby is the business center which has some computers for guests to use. Opposite the lobby is the outdoor pool which is open daily from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. There is always a lifeguard on duty for your safety. There is plenty of pool seating and a few cabanas for rent. At the edge of the pool area is Splash Bar, the hotel's outdoor restaurant and bar, open every day between 6.30 a.m. and 9 p.m. They offer traditional sit-down breakfast and casual grab-and-go items for lunch and dinner. Making our way back inside, this is the library where the hotel offers Hawaiian storytelling on Tuesday and Thursdays at 9.30 a.m. In front of us is a hula class which is offered on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sundays at 10 a.m. This part of the first floor has more seating, ping pong tables, and foosball tables. Over here is a water bottle filling station. Adjacent to that is the elevator landing area. I got lucky when filming this because this area is usually super crowded as these four elevators service hundreds of rooms across 29 floors. This is a Tower City King room in the Ainahau Tower. On the left is the bathroom. It is really tight in here. You have to dance around the door depending on if you want to use the toilet or the shower. Back by the entrance, there is storage space, a safe, and a mini fridge behind these sliding doors. This is the main living space. It has a desk, coffee maker, TV, king bed, and a chair in the corner. The nightstand next to the chair has charging ports. The other nightstand does not. This is the balcony, which has two patio chairs and a table. The view from the 12th floor is partially obstructed by Sheraton's other wing, but the view from the 20th floor and higher should be just fine. Another view of the room. On the second floor is the gym, which is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. They have a good amount of treadmills, ellipticals, free weights, stationary bikes, and weight machines. Okay, rating time. I didn't want to use half stars in my rating system, but I have to give the room a 1.5 out of 5. The room was small and overall not very clean. The bathroom was tiny, having to straddle the door to use the shower was a hassle. The lack of ports and comfortable seating was inconvenient. The Wi-Fi was extremely spotty. The redeeming qualities of the room that warrant more than one star, but not quite two stars, is the practicality of the mini fridge, a fairly comfortable bed, and having a newer, sizable TV. I give the amenities a four out of five. The property has standard amenities like a pool, gym, restaurant, and laundry facilities, but Sheraton Princess Kailani earns that fourth star with their daily offerings like morning yoga, Hawaiian storytelling, ukulele lessons, hula lessons, lei, and bracelet making. I give the intangibles a 3 out of 5. The property is one block from Waikiki Beach and is surrounded by great restaurants and shopping centers which is very convenient. The location is the best aspect of the hotel and I think this is the main reason to book here. The hotel has historical significance but that history is not abundantly obvious. Cash rates for this share team were going for about $350 per night. At that price I give a 2 out of 5 for cash value. That represents little value and I do not recommend booking with cash. Award nights for Sheraton Princess Kaiulani cost about 40,000 Marriott points per night. I give a 2 out of 5 for points value. This is a subpar redemption and I would not recommend booking with points. I think if someone were to book at this hotel, it should be for the location. In summary, Sheraton Princess Kaiulani is conveniently located a block away from Waikiki Beach, has many cultural offerings, but has underwhelming rooms.
That is all for my review of the Sheraton Princess Kaiulani. Thanks for joining.